Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin 4 runner 935 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is a brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second uh, way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set up the watch without uh, pairing it to a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, first thing we need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button until you see the uh, Garmin logo on the screen. And after the watch turns on and it's been reset to the factory default settings or it's new, you will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons. Select the language you would like to use on your watch and once you select it, press the start button to confirm. And as you can see, now we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that, so select yes and press the start button. The watch will enter pairing mode and now we need to download and install the a Garmin Connect application on the phone we want to pair our watch with. So make sure you have, the, you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your phone that you want to use to pair the devices. Then open the Google Play Store on it. In the Play Store tap on search and type in uh, Garmin Connect and then tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. After the application opens, you will need to log in into a Garmin uh, Connect account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on create account button right here to make a new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, uh, check the box right here, come on, and then tap on next. And now I need to enter the email and password to log in. Okay, then we can tap next. If you see this pop up, tap on allow access and tap on allow. And after the uh, after you log in and allow the permission, the app should start looking for the nearby devices and it will detect your watch. As you can see, after it does, tap on connected, tap on allow. Let's wait until the setup goes further. If you see this and the pin on the watch, enter the pin from the watch right here. So tap on the screen, enter the uh, pin and tap on OK. And on next. Here we can set up a uh, bedtime or sleep time. Basically, this is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode, do not disturb mode during sleep. So basically turn off uh, or mute all of the notifications during sleep. If you want to use that feature, uh, you can set up the bedtime by tapping on the box right here, swiping up and down like that. And then you can also tap on the wake time and change it too. And once you're done, you can tap on next and tap on yes or no if you want to turn on or turn off uh, the do not disturb mode. I'm gonna turn it on by tapping on yes. Here you can uh, agree to send the recent training data to your new watch. I'm just gonna tap on no and tap next. And right here we can allow the notification access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. I'm gonna tap on allow it and tap on allow. Then uh, we can allow the location permission. This is useful for the tracking uh, activities on the map, like running, cycling, uh, weather location. So if you want to have the 
weather updated from the local uh, from from your location and stuff like that. If you want to use those features, tap on allow loca location access. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. And if you tap on allow location access, you will need to tap on permissions, find the uh, location right here and tap on allow. And then you can go back by tapping on the back button right here. Next, we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see the events and uh, manage the events of the calendar. You can tap on allow or deny or skip it basically. Next, we have call uh, access. If you want to receive the notifications about the calls and stuff like that, uh, you want to uh, enable this permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip this. Then we have phone, phone call access again. This is for the notifications and stuff like that. If you want to use the feature, allow it. If you don't care, you can skip it. Messages, this is for the messages, notifications. Um, you can view the messages, uh, interact with them basically. So if you want to use those features, allow the notification access. If you don't care, you can skip it. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now. And then tap on finish. And after that, you will see the My Day page. On it, you will see your watch right here at the top. And if you tap on More uh, Garmin Devices, you will see that the for a runner 935 is right here on the list of devices. You can tap on it to open the device page for it. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch through the setup process. Now we're gonna disconnect it from our phone by tapping right here, tapping Remove, Remove, and uh, Settings. And here we can tap on settings, forget, forget to remove it. Okay, so at this point, the watch is disconnected from our phone. And to enter the pairing mode on the watch that has been already set up, you need to open the menu first. So uh, press and hold the uh, up button. And after the menu opens, use the up and down button to scroll through the menu. Select the settings option. And once you select it, press the start button, then scroll down, select the phone option and press the start button. And here scroll down, select the per phone, press the start button, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Now you can download and install the app, but we already have it, so I'm just gonna open it. And where's the shortcut? Uh, it's right here. Okay, so I'm gonna open the app. And uh, normally after you install the app and you're connecting the device for the first time, the app will automatically enter the a pairing menu and you, it will look for the nearby devices. But if you log in and you open the app and you see the My Day page, you can tap on More, Garmin Devices and tap on Add Device. It will enter the pairing mode and it will detect your watch. You can tap on Connected, Allow and go through the all, all previous steps basically to connect the uh, watch. So we need to repeat the same thing we did before. Minus the uh, permissions because I already allowed them so the app remembers uh, that we allow the permissions. If I reinstalled it, we, we need to we would need to de deal with the permissions again. Okay, now we can tap on next. Here we can uh, set up the bedtime again. Then tap on yes or no. Here we can agree to send the uh, data. And then we can tap on sync now. Finish. And as you can see, the watch is up here. And if you tap on more and Garmin devices, you will also see it right here on the list, which means that the watch is paired with the phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.